Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. Now I know I made a not too subtle hint that we might be taking on some slow-mo action this week, but the last few episodes have been super hard to put together, and in other words, I kind of need an easy episode this week because I'm a little burnt out. So today's requests, I said two, plural, come from Wondertop and Ace9251 who asked, if you have time, could you do a quick tutorial on how to get the reverse flash voice and the arrow voice? It just so happens I have the time, so let's get to work. In order to complete this effect, all you need is a copy of Adobe Audition. And, well, the audio. That helps too. A little bit. Now as far as sound effects go, I know a lot of you have asked what I use to make the sounds in the episodes, so I thought I might rattle off a few of the packs I use. One, Video Copilot's designer sound effects. Two, Video Copilot's Motion Pulse. Three, Boom Library's Cinematic Hits. I also have some sounds I ripped from both the Phantom Menace PC game and Enter the Matrix, both of which I'm sure you could find online. And you know what? If I can't find a sound that I like in any of those packs, I go online and I search on Google or YouTube for one. Now, we have a tutorial to do, right? Oh yeah, yeah, we do. Today I'm gonna to use excerpts from both our hour episode and the reverse flash episode as examples. So let's get started. So here we are for only the second time in film learning history, in of course, Adobe Audition. And I thought it'd be easiest to start off with our arrow voice since, you know, it's the easier of the two. Now before we begin, let's hear an example file with no filters. You have failed this city. As you can hear, I'm still doing my best arrow voice. And that's the key here. What we're trying to do is enhance the performance. We're not trying to lay filters on something in the hopes that it will eventually sound right. And guess what? There's only two steps here. We'll hit Ctrl A to select our entire clip, head to Effects, Time and Pitch, and select Pitch Shifter. Now since my voice is already deep, all I'm going to do is turn the semitone down minus three. But if your voice is higher, you may want to bump this down some more. And if your voice is like Freddy from House of Cards, you want to pitch that voice up because he sounds like he eats rocks for breakfast. We'll also crank the sense up to 100. If you leave that at zero, you get this weird robot modulation, and since that's not what we're going for, let's keep it at 100. We'll then set the precision to high, turn the overlapping down to zero, and let's have a listen. You have failed this city. Not bad, but I like to thicken it up with some reverb, but by all means, it doesn't need it if you're happy here. We'll call this the uh, cherry on top. So let's head back to effects, reverb, and select studio reverb. From there, click the drop down menu, select vocal reverb small, and then we'll tweak a couple of settings. I'll change the room size to 100, crank the decay to 1000, head down to the bottom, change the dry to 80%, and the wet to zero, and let's hear a preview. You have failed this city. If you're happy, let's apply the effect. You have failed this city. That sounds pretty cool. Now, let's move on to that reverse flash, shall we? Once again, we're back with a brand new example, this time from our reverse flash episode. And this is what it sounds like with no filters. Catch me if you can, flash. Not sure what I was channeling here, but I sound a bit like B. Arthur and Oliver Reed's love child. Ooh, that's an awful picture. Nevertheless, we'll begin. Hit Ctrl A to select the entire clip, and just like with the arrow, our first step is to lower our pitch. So let's head to Effects, Time and Pitch, and select Pitch Shifter. This time around, we'll echo the same settings apart from our semitone, which this time I'm going to lower to minus 4.5. And let's hear a preview. Catch me if you can, Flash. Man, that's a little off-putting. The next part is all about distorting that voice. So let's head up to Effects, Modulation, and click Flanger or Flanger. Once we're in, let's drop that menu down and select Heavy Flange. And let's tweak some settings. Set the initial delay to zero, set the final delay to 4.16, the stereo facing to 28, the feedback to 75%, the modulation to 0.23. We'll then head down the bottom and crank the mix up to around 50.7. And let's check out a preview before we apply the effect. Catch me if you can, Flash. Getting there, but it needs one more thing. When you hear the reverse Flash talk, it's almost like more than one voice is talking, so let's make that happen. Let's head to Effect, Modulation, and click on Chorus. Drop that menu down, and let's select Rich Chorus. 
We'll then click here and crank those voices up to 10. We'll then change the delay time to 4, the delay rate to 0.1, the spread to 50, the modulation depth to 5, the modulation rate to 15, and the stereo field to 100%. We'll change the dryness to 50% and the wetness to 35%. But as I always say, have a play like I did and see what works for your audio. If you're happy, let's apply the effect. Now let's have a listen to our final output. Catch me if you can, Flash. Add up all those steps and your voice work goes from this. You have failed this city. Catch me if you can, Flash. To this. You have failed this city. Catch me if you can, Flash. So that's making your voice sound like either the arrow or the reverse Flash. It doesn't take a bunch of crazy filters and elaborate mixing, and you don't need any third party software. Now before we go, I'd just like to cover some of the upcoming episodes on the show just to somewhat stem the tide of these particular requests. As you know, I do try to respond to every comment, but even I'm starting to feel like I'm repeating myself. So here's some of the episodes that have been requested and are coming up. Quicksilver, Flash Phasing, Heat Vision, Iron Man Heads Up Display, Firestorm Flying, Reverse Flash Eyes, Flash Moving at Normal Speed while everything else is in slow motion, Time Portal Effects, Spider-Man web shooting, blackout, tornado arms, and a whole bunch of others that I've got to work through. I guess my point here is guys, I've got all the requests, so just sit tight. I'm only one man, and I will get to them all, I promise. But until I do, let's like and share this video. If you're new here, sound off on that subscribe button, hit me up on Facebook and Twitter for teasers and updates, and until next week when I actually slow things down, keep learning. Thank you.